here we have a system of equations with three variables the usual approach of solving this would be we generally subject one of the variable if a subject z then we take these two variables on the other side then we substitute z in these two equations and we eliminate the z we are left with two equations with two variables again we subject y we eliminate y then we have answer for x now using x we use reverse substitution we get the value of y then from y we get z it's a pretty lengthy and a tedious process the same thing can be done a little faster in a better way using matrices so let's learn how do we solve system of equations using matrices the first thing is how do we represent these equations in matrix what we're going to do is we take the coefficients of the variables and we put it into a matrix something like this here we have the matrix notation for these set of equations these two are equivalent you can just check it here we have a matrix of the coefficients then the variable matrix then the resultant if i multiply this we take the first row with the column this could be written as 2 into x plus 3 into y then plus 1 into z and this product gives us 1 this is basically this equation similarly the second row will give the second equation third row will give the third equation in this we can think the matrix with the coefficients as some a and the matrix with variables as some x and these results could be taken as some b so this is a standard representation of system of equations in this a is called the coefficient matrix once we start learning about solving these equations using matrices we will be manipulating this coefficient matrix as well as the result matrix therefore it's better if we can club these two something like this because we are adding this matrix to this we call this as augmented matrix this one we'll be using in gauss jordan elimination which we'll be learning in the upcoming videos now let's analyze what could be the result of solving these system of equations for simplicity let me take equations with two variables here we have three sets of equations in the first one these two represents two straight lines and this is the graphical notation we see that these two lines meet at a point that is minus one and two therefore there is a solution and it's a unique solution now look at the second set of equations we see that these two lines are actually coinciding that is you take any point on the first line it also satisfies with the second line so the solution is every point on the first line so here we have infinite solutions now look at the third set of equations here we can see in the graph these two are parallel lines which can never meet that means there will be no solution at all so for a system of equations the result could be either a unique solution or infinite solutions or no solution and the equations which are having at least one solution that is a unique solution or infinite solution these two are called consistent and if there's no solution it's called inconsistent the questions asked in gate usually ask for consistency that is whether a system of equations are consistent or inconsistent so whenever consistent you need to check whether it's unique solution or infinite solution if it's inconsistent we already know that's no solution at all and to solve the system of equations we'll be learning three different methods the methods are gauss jordan elimination second one is kramer's method third is lu decomposition we'll be discussing all the three methods pretty much in detail before we start just keep in mind system of equations can be solved with any of these three methods and in that we generally prefer this particular method because it's quite fast and reliable kramer's method can be used if the set of equations have only two variables if it's more than three or four it's really tough then lu decomposition it's a pretty long process for a competitive exam i don't prefer to pick up this but for the university exams and maybe for the interviews they may ask for lu so so it's better to learn all the three methods but get the grip on gauss jordan elimination 